It's me, Sean Strong, your 2019 Mayish Design Star, and I'm here with That Dude Squad, and today we're going to be making floral crowns and floral collars. Cannot wait to show you guys what we're going to be doing, so uh, stay tuned. He looks like a little rug from Ikea. <laughs> so the materials that we're going to use today are going to be floral adhesive, we have some snips, dog collar, and we also have some floral wire. Um, so hopefully these, uh, these ladies and guys will participate and uh, have a good time as I build something out for them. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna be needing to do is make sure that we can measure the dog's neck. So we have Addy right here as our model, and this is gonna be a good size. If you don't have the dog in front of you, you can just always guesstimate. This is a rather large dog, so we need a rather large collar. So we're gonna cut off some of the ranunculus right over here and just start getting these as flat and close as possible because we wanna make sure that there's plenty of room for that floral adhesive to kind of go on the back of that flower. We're also gonna be adding in some other textures like this PRS right here. Now this is a really cool little texture. I think it's gonna look lovely around her neck. You might wanna start eating that as well. You can't eat it, I'm sorry. You like those flowers? Yeah? Okay, tell me which one you want. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead and play now. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna keep adding our flowers onto our collar. So again, just cutting off some of these ranunculus, all this courtesy of Mayesh, wonderful product. I think this kind of peach color is gonna really show up really well against her fur. So you wanna make sure that once the adhesive is on there that it's still a little tacky before you put your flowers on. So you can go ahead and adhere that to that and let that sit. You can add a little bit more glue if you would like to, just to make sure that it's extra secure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this on here, keep a little bit of pressure on there, and then we're just gonna start building this out with our textures like our PRS, our ranunculus, some of our jasmine vine. All right, so this is our almost finished product. What we're gonna do is make sure that these nubs right here, we don't, we don't want those poking the dog. They're already gonna be trying to chew it off, so let's not make this any more uncomfortable than we need to. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these off and just kind of clean it up just a little bit, making sure that nothing's gonna be poking the dog. There you go, that's kind of the look that we have right there. So what I like to do is make sure that we're finishing this off by adding some ribbon to the end. That way it covers up this buckle right here and it also kind of finishes the look. That way it looks a little bit more intentional and as if it was designed for the dog instead of just, you know, a collar. Come here, Addy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our model up on the table. <laughs> Come here, Addy, I'm gonna have you step over here. Come here, you wanna sit right here for me? She's always trying to get in front of my camera. This is crazy. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and put this around her neck right here. We're gonna keep it a little loose because she is such a fluffy dog, we wanna make sure that it's still gonna be seen. You like those flowers? Those are all in your collar. They are. So we're gonna go ahead and secure it off. And again, as a finishing touch, I wanna make sure that we put a ribbon around it. Just that way we can, you know, make it look a little bit more intentional. So with this ribbon right here, all we're gonna do is just kinda of tie it off into a bow in the back. Um, again, kinda of finishes off the design, make sure that it looks a little bit more personalized. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little pretty. So I'm gonna kinda of get this done for you guys. All right, so I went ahead and tied the bow around Addy. Hey, do you mind coming over here and model for a second? You wanna, you wanna face this way? I know this is your other side, I know. But let's, let's look right over here. So you can see this ribbon right here is on the back of Addy, and it just kind of finishes off the design. So thank you so very much, Addy, for modeling. I so appreciate it. All right, you guys, so this is Charlie right here, and we're gonna be adding um, a collar on him, but we're gonna be using this Smilax for his collar. So whenever you're using something like Smilax, you don't necessarily need to use a collar because it already is your base. So it just depends on the flowers that you're using. If you're gonna go pretty heavy on greens with something like Smilax, there's no collar that's needed. But if you're gonna be adding things in like ranunculus or PRS or something a little bit more simple or dainty, you wanna make sure that it has something to secure itself to. So just to keep the Smilax a little bit more sturdy, I like to make sure that I'm wrapping it in some wire. Um, again, this is just the wire that you guys can use um, on a spool like this. And that way, whenever we kind of need to tie this off, it's gonna be a cool little touch over here to just make it really easy to secure that. So we're just wrapping this around the Smilax. This Smilax is really, really nice just because it already has this cool collar-like shape, so you don't need to do much to it. It's really, really easy. All you're gonna do is just wrap this wire around the Smilax. 
So whenever we get our wire wrapped around, I like to make sure that we have a little loop over here. That way we can secure this end over here nice and neat around his neck. Now I like to make sure that whenever I'm working with boy dogs to kind of add in, um, you know, just a little ribbon bow tie around it. Just again, to finish it off and make sure that it's complete. You good? You good, man? Okay. So there we go. He's being such a good model. So we're just, again, looping this around and just securing it. It's gonna be really easy to take this on and off and making, the, making sure that, you know, if the dog's uncomfortable, that they're able to get it off. Now, when it comes to the boy dog, we're gonna get a little bit more, a little bit more formal over here. So all I'm gonna do is just, again, same thing that I did with Addy, just kind of tie a bow around the end of this, just to secure it, to make sure it looks, you know, finished. So here we have the bow right over here, just to kind of finalize it and make sure it looks very nice and neat and prim and proper for him. So whenever you're working with animals, you always wanna make sure that they're like pretty temperamental when it comes to things like this. You know, I don't think a flower crown is gonna be something that the dog's gonna actually wanna wear. Yeah, you can see, she doesn't even like it. So doing flower collars is gonna be something that they're gonna be able to manage um, a little easier than if you're putting something on top of their head. <laughs> Isn't that right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, my beautiful models back up here. Charlie, come here. All right, come on. Oh, come on, you lug. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put his, uh, his collar on him. All right, there you go, dude. We're gonna set him right over here. Um, Addy, come here. Come here, Addy, come up here. Come on. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> oh, there we go. Come here. All right, we're gonna put your collar on you. You ready? Come here. All right. All right, good girl. Come here, Sheldon. Oh, thank you. Come here, Sheldon. Come here, hey, man. All right, we're gonna put um, this cool little collar on you right here, dude. Or you don't have to wear one. Come here. There we go, man. Come here. Come here. Lola, you want a cookie? Mm, that one wants a cookie. Come here, good girl. Good girl. All right, come here, we're gonna put your collar on you, all right? Come here, look at this beautiful thing you get to wear. Come here. All right, come on. Look at y'all all front and center, looking beautiful and lovely. We'll do what we want. We're gonna make our own way anyway. All right, you guys, there it is. This is our final product on our dog collars with That Dude Squad. So grateful to be here in Upstairs Atlanta. Thank you again, Mayesh, for this awesome product, and we're so grateful that we're able to work together. All right, you guys want a cookie? Huh? Want a cookie? Let's go, come on, come on.